and operations. Barely two months of his resumption of duty as Commissioner Police Data State. His exploit made the IGP himself to give him the Inspector General Police Commendation Award, Recognition Award to him. This is a feat no one has ever made because that was just barely two months upon his resumption as the Commissioner of Police, Delta State. He's happily married with lovely children. Your Royal Majesty, I present to you CP Abani Wanda, Olufemi, Commissioner of Police, Delta State. Seated, seated next to him, sir, is the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Operations, a man that is well known to this father, ACP George Efezomo. Praise. Sorry, sir. <laughs> well noted, sir. Seated next to him is the area commander, Agro Area Command, sir. We also have with us the ACSID, ACP Charles Modi. Next to him is the DPO Agro, CSP Idris Aruna. We also have with us the personal assistant to the Commissioner of Police 2, ASP, Akomod Affair. We also have with us uh, the as assistant superintendent of police, ASP, Baker Wans, and the OC Complaint Response Unit, sir. Next to him is the personal assistant to the Commissioner of Police 1, ASP, Baban Kiki. Permit me to also introduce myself, sir. I am SP, Edafe Bright, the Police Public Relations Officer. Delta State Police Commander. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. To tell His Royal Majesty exactly why he's here. Yes, sir. Long may you reign. Yes, sir. May you live long, long, long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm here before you today, sir. And I would like to say it is with great pleasure that I will come before you. Myself and the management of Delta State Police Commander. It is tradition for us that when the CP records newly in the command, he makes his presence known to all those who are supposed to support him in his administration and provision of security. I'm sorry if this is coming a little bit late, but I'm sure His Royal Majesty will be aware of a lot of the security challenges who are faced in the state since my country of duties in February. We had some unfortunate incidents in Lebu. We had another one in the coma, which the Royal Majesty of Russia is currently on board. The Metro withdrew on Wednesday by that Wednesday, there are just some level of other killings in that environment. So we are sorry that this is a commitment. So at this time, why we are here, sir, so tell you that I'm here. We are here to come and serve our people. We are here to come and seek for your support, for your prayers, and the cooperation of our people so that we can serve the people better. It is a known fact that traditional rulers are the owners of the land. Traditional rulers know literally everything that happens in their domain. Your Majesty, we seek your blessing. We ask that our people be directed to cooperate with us. I'm sure His Majesty is aware of some of the challenges we have around the agriculture, including the we are making concerted efforts to ensure that these challenges are dealt with. We have made additional deployments. We are also collaborating with other states. As I the day before yesterday, I brought it up at the Security Council meeting and requested His Excellency the Executive Governor to kindly help us talk with the Governor of Edo State. Because some of these challenges are coming from our neighboring states. Once they strike, so, so basically, without bullying, we are here to come and ask for your blessings. Ask for your support. Ask that you direct our people to support us so much. In the chair of Alwan. 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 Thank you very, very much for being here with your full array of men. And uh, always good to see my, my young son and good brother, 
my dear friends, Abu Anandao. Have you been to see that yet? Or no, was there yes, yes, Okay, no problem at all. So please give me a call when you have a moment with that in any sweet time. Uh, I'm very, very happy that you mentioned the security issues that we are facing, not just here in Agbo, but across the entire state. And I have indeed noticed that you've been extremely busy since you came back. Of course, it's not wholly your fault. I also was not on seat. I was away with my family. So that was why I was not able to see you maybe a bit earlier. Um, from the sound of things, you, you seem like you're very, very much on top of the whole situation. And let me thank you especially for asking the governor to reach out to his Edward State counterpart. That is extremely crucial because, in fact, that is the problem that we are having in this environment. Because this area is such a central area, we find that a lot of the criminals come from outside, operate, and then they leave. Another issue, I think that by now the police need to start making very clear because sometimes you guys get tagged with bad names for no good reason. It's very, very important when complaints are made about criminal activity, I think you as a police force, you need to start stating for the record. You need to start stating for the record and make it very, very clear to the complainer. If you do not follow up your complaint, we as the police have no right to keep this man in custody. If you do not follow up your complaint, you are the one that's failing, not the police. It's very, very important you make this clear. Because what's very, very unfair is people like to spoil the police name. Uh, we arrest them, the police don't let them go. Police are working with them. That's why if you arrest them, within two, three days, they have been released. No, that is not the case. The case is, most times, you people will make a complaint, you won't go back to follow up this complaint. And following up the complaint, you make the first complaint, you need to see it through to going to court, you need to see it through to prosecution, you need to see it through to whether the person is guilty or not guilty. That can take time. Once it leaves police hands to the court, it's no longer in the police hands. They cannot influence it anymore. If you don't follow it up, then nothing will be done. That's the simple that's the simple fact. On the side of the police, I'm very, very happy. I've seen the IG recently has asked for some of the parasatos that have been created by removing them from the police to be returned. Because I've always been very concerned about that. But how much can you strip away from the police until the police is an empty shell of itself? And at the same time, you cause so much confusion by so many different people doing the job that the police really should have been doing. There needs to be a system whereby the police can create revenue for themselves. Certainly not enough revenue is being given to the security forces. I know abroad in the US, a lot of the fines and some of the statutes that won't necessarily land somebody in jail, but they involve fines. This is how some of the police forces are able to survive. I don't think the same is applicable here, but it needs to be looked into so that in their own area, in their own state, if they make fines, and there can be so many different type of fines, ball type fine, extra uh, uh, diesel, too much pollution, fine, speeding, fine. The reason for all these fines is statutes either encourage your behavior or they discourage your behavior. So if the police are telling you this stretch of road is 50 miles per hour, if you go over that 50 miles per hour, you will be fine. Enough fines will eventually make people start following that, unless you're willing to pay that fine. And of course, if you're seen 
to be someone who's flouting the rules on purpose, then it will go beyond fine and you can be prosecuted. But the fact is that some of these fines, even if some is going to the federal government, some is retained by the police to be able to fund their activities. It's very, very important. Another issue I'm a bit concerned about is, you see, in, this, in the States, every six months, you must go to the shooting range. You must go to the shooting range to be able to practice firing a weapon. It's not as easy as just picking up a gun and shooting. This thing takes time. You have to learn it, you have to practice it on a regular basis. You guys do not have enough ranges here. To be fair, there should be a professional shooting range in every state in the nation. So that the police command of that particular state, they don't need to travel far. Once you know that there's a shooting range in your area, then at least now you can recommend that certain officers on a regular basis are going to the range. This is something that I'll bring up with Mr. President when I see him, but it's something that I also think you need to be talking to your command about. There needs to be, even if it's in just one of the three senatorial districts of every state, I know that um, Senator Prince Ned Walker has also brought this up, but what he has wanted, what he was suggesting, I think was a range for each senatorial district. I think that would be too much for the federal government to handle. But if we're saying one range in every state, I think that is something that they can handle. Considering now today, you could use fabricated uh, all these uh, containers. You can you can transfer and actually convert the container into a shooting range. Okay, as long as the necessary uh, intake of air and, and outgoing or bad air is there, should not be a problem. So that is something that you really need to start looking at. Of course, I think your arms as well need to be looked at. They need to be upgraded. This is very, very important. So, you know, just some of the observations that I've made. Um, Agua, as you mentioned, we're having a particular crisis here of kidnapping and Fulanis. They're saying Fulanis, I've told my people, I don't want to hear that language anymore. Don't say Fulani birdsmen are kidnapping. It's a bad association. There's no such thing as Fulani kidnappers. What you have is criminals. You have Fulani herdsmen, then you have criminals who are portraying themselves as Fulani herdsmen. Fulani herdsmen are peaceful. We've been living with them for decades. Okay? What we have, if you are into kidnapping, you're no longer a Fulani herdsman. You are a criminal. So that is a very, very important part that needs to start. We need to change the narrative there. It's very, very important. Aside from that, please be assured the chiefs are here to help the police as much as possible. Uh, I've said this before, I will continue to say this is one of the oldest kingdoms in West Africa. Okay? This kingdom is well over 2,000 years old. It started as far back as 721 BC. My chiefs, not everybody here will be angels. I must have good, bad and ugly, just like in any society. As respect to myself and to my palace, if you have a problem with my chiefs, do not disgrace my chiefs, because as you disgrace my chiefs, you're disgracing me. You're Yoruba. So you come from a very ancient people that have their traditions and customs. If you have any problem with my chief, come and let the administration know. Let the admin office know. We will provide that chief for you. Okay? If that chief does not go willingly, then you will go after losing his chieftaincy title. I don't support criminals. I hate criminals. I don't know why you choose to have You can eat on anything. Good talk, have you? Yeah. We can stay out. So, please, with that said, I don't know if there's anything that the 
chiefs might wish to say? Any questions for the CP? Any information? Please feel free to always reach out to the DPO and your new area commander. Um, but I think that that should be about it. Thank you very, very much for coming here today. I wish you the best of luck over the next few years here in Delta. We are not usually as troublesome as this. I don't know what has happened of Visa. We're not usually like this. Delta has been very peaceful for a very, very long time. So let's just pray that this small situation is, uh, is dealt with as amicably as possible. So thank you very, very much. I'm very sorry, by the way, my condolences for the men that you have lost within the past few months. It's not the best. And uh, I wish their families all the best. So thank you very, very much. I will see you shortly in the small panel. Prince George, God bless you. Oh, Yeah, yeah. yeah.